Morning guys it is a beautiful morning sunny a little too humid for me and we're on our way to church and um, I got up today in spite of not wanting to but I'm so whipped <laughs> it's always that way after a um, couple of days out actually so far all I've done is complain let's change that right now um, Got up, had tomato juice, had tea. Well, I still have some tomato juice, or I have more tomato juice. Had tea. Uh, made the casserole for today's potluck at church, first Sunday of every month. Did my practicing, did not record today because I just didn't have time. By the time I got, we're late, in fact, it's 10.22, we usually are out here. To this stop sign by about 10:15. So, whatever. Um, there's one new song they're doing today that I didn't have set up, so I had to set it up and you know choose all the instruments and the rhythms and the harmonies and set all the parameters and stuff for each instrument. Blah blah blah. <laughs> so. I had to do that not once but twice because I overrode it after I had it done and I don't like the second one as well but whatever. It's a good thing I didn't record because it was, you know, I have not had time to practice. I didn't get the music, the list of music till late on Friday. As you know, we were gone all Friday evening and all day yesterday and so, you know, I, I, I wish I would have had more time. but. We'll muddle through somehow, just like always. There's the lake, but you can't see it because there's fog over it. I do not know why. This morning when I got up, there was fog outside, but that has cleared off. But the lake still has quite a bit of fog over it. You can see the water a little bit, but it's still got quite a bit of fog. So that's it. Nothing else going on. Um, today my plan is to get home from church and take a nap and that's as far as I have gotten. There it is. Yes, 357.9 which is 358. Uh, so that hasn't changed and all the party goers from the weekend are probably still asleep so not a whole lot of people on the road compared to yesterday. It was packed. So I will see you guys later. I'm just going to chill on the way to church and um, prepare, prepare my spirit. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. In answer to Jesus' question, Cleopas answered and said to him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem and have you not known the things which happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? As you listen to Cleopas, can you sense his sadness? Perhaps he sounds a bit angry too. Interestingly, this is in keeping with the actual meaning of the word translated as sad, which can include the idea that the person is also experiencing anger. But Christ, the master communicator, recognizes that it is still not time to speak. He hears within Cleopas' question the desire to share even more information. So he invites him to continue by asking, what things? Uh, straps where they're on your neck. That's what we need. Then I can vlog as I walk along the food line here. Look at all that great stuff. Yum. That's mine. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Well, I haven't stop, ever got that picture. Oh, didn't you? No. Oh. What are you going to do? I had a picture. Put it up here. Picture's always better. Don't do that. Turn around. <laughs>
I hit the picture, right? Not cooperating. Oh, man, I cut off her head. Good. Oh, That's just the way we want it. I'm, go I'm going to go down. I'm going what you down. getting there, Petey? Oh, you got some of mine. Well, of course I got some of yours. Hi, guys. Well, first of all, I'll do the Fit for Fall um, update. I got two things to say. Number one, isometric exercise. I've been looking through arthritis sites and um, different back pain sites um, especially because one of the things I need to do if I want to get rid of my walker for good, which I've been using it for a lot of years, so I don't even know if it's possible, but one of the things that I need to do is strengthen my back. Um, so... Um, I looked through a bunch of exercise sites specific for um, arthritis in the spine and everything I read was painful. <laughs> I mean just reading it was like oh my gosh I don't I couldn't do that that hurts. So then I read that there's something called isometrics and so those I can do. So I found a site that said gave three of them to start with three exercises to start with and um, I did them um, tonight. I did th each one three times. And it says to do them for each one for a minute each time. Well, I'm nowhere near. I, But I did 15 seconds for each one. And I did each one three times. And I think it'll probably be easier to do them like twice a day. Maybe I'll get up to a minute faster or sooner rather. Yeah, I also did went up and down the stairs at church which are pretty steep and pretty long twice which I don't usually do stairs but today instead of taking the easy way and going around without the stairs I used the stairs twice and I cleaned all seven cages because the last couple days have been really busy so I had to do all seven of them today so I got a pretty good workout today as far as that goes. Next thing um, regarding Fit for Fall is um, I you know, to meet my goal in 90 days of being able to walk a mile, whether I want to or not, I think I'm going to have to take off a little bit more weight at least. I know when I reach a certain point, I can really feel it. And this week I've had more carbs than usual, and I think I'm at that point. Pete is going to do it with me as a show of support for the next 25 days. I'm going to eat a clean ketogenic diet. It's just a lot healthier. So... Obviously, as you know, I've been eating this way since 2004, but I don't, I haven't been strict with it because I don't, except when I want to lose weight. And usually I only lose 20 pounds or so, or 10 at a time. Last time I did it for two weeks and I lost 11. Um, but it's, you know, the healthiest way for me to go, so that's what I I'm will gonna... still eat potatoes. We will still go out for Friday night on our seafood, but the rest of the time, everything else is you know, going to be totally back to clean. And we'll see, you know, what falls off in this 25 days. And the reason I picked 25 days is we had a potluck at church today. <laughs> so I'll start tomorrow and um, then Labor Day weekend comes at, at 25 days. Labor Day weekend is Pete's and my 12th anniversary. Um, we got married on August 31st. So every Labor Day weekend, whether our anniversary falls on it or not, we celebrate for that weekend. We either go away for the weekend or we do day trips or we do something fun. Um, and that's not to say that we can't do day trips and have do something fun or go away for the weekend and that I have to eat foods that aren't good for me <laughs> because I don't and um, but uh, I don't want to go over the 25 days for the other reason that as I've said before I don't want to lose much more weight I did lose uh, 90 pounds in five months in 2004 and I've kept it off that's it. That's my today's update for Fit for Fall. Um, I will be starting tomorrow. I will be putting on Instagram with the F4F hashtag. I will be putting on Instagram everything I eat. Next thing is to see how much I lose in the next 25 days and then, you know, see how it affects my joints and my walking and um, go from there. Because then I'll still have a couple months left to make other adjustments or whatever's needed to reach my goal of being able to walk a mile. And the more I think about it, the more I think, could I really do it without my walker? That would be so cool. 
I don't want to obsess about this, but you know, when I do something, I always throw myself into it really wholeheartedly, and I do tend to obsess about it. Um, I've always been that way, though. If there's something I'm going to do, like I just focus, I just focus on that, and everything else is like in the background, and so that's what I'm doing now with this Fit for Fall thing. I'm going to watch some vlogs tonight because I've hardly watched any at all this weekend. It's been way too busy. Um, tomorrow, of course, back to work and hopefully back to watching vlogs if it's not too busy on the phone. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys did this weekend. Next weekend, I got the great news that Casey and her family are coming up. Yes, that's, that excites me. Um, I really need a baby Lyra fix. In fact, today at church... It was, uh, it was, somebody had a baby there, a grandbaby, and um, she's almost seven months old, but she's very tiny. She's very much smaller than, um, you know, than you would think of a seven-month-old, but she was so cute. But it was really strange in my head. I looked at her and I thought, what's wrong with that baby? Where's her spots? <laughs> she ain't got no spots. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing that spotty baby. But anyway, so it was kind of, this baby's name was Phoebe, and she was just totally adorable. But um, she definitely didn't have spots. <laughs> Casey said that even when she looks at Leland's baby pictures, he looks strange to her now because he didn't have spots. <laughs> We're used to our little spotted baby. Anyway, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about Casey and her family coming up next weekend. That, that makes me happy, too. Um... So I'm going to go now. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys were up to this weekend and what you guys did. And um, I think about you guys all the time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope everybody has a momentous Monday. And take care. God bless and good night.